We're actually on the outskirts of North Dallas and today I'm showing you the set of one of America's most well-known shows and that's called Dallas. <laughs> so I'm actually at the South Fork Ranch right now. This is the entrance to the shop. I'm in the shop before you go through the tour and they do it in a half an hour segment. So every half an hour. So we're on the half three tour and I think they run up until about five. The original series ended, was it 1978 to 1991? And I was born in 1994, so it was three years before I was born. And then what I started watching it was in 2012 when they made the new series of it. And so just to give you an idea, it has a massive, massive say in it because one of the most famous episodes here is called, well, was Who Shot JR? So that was one of the biggest cliffhangers in TV history. 1978 to 1991, those are the original characters there. These are the new characters from 2012, so they're like the children of it, and it has some of the original characters. And you will find out more as we go along. So there's a tour that's gonna to show you around the whole museum at the house as well. Uh, so basically, when you come through the shop, you just walk straight through, and you come into the like walk hall of fame of all the different characters and everything that has gone on. So this is actually the Dallas family tree. These are all the characters off it, so there you go. I'm gonna let it just sink that in. Wow. So the tractor's gonna be starting, now we're on our way. Here's noise. <laughs> and along that line, Dallas was translated into 55 languages. Wow. I'm at the South Fork Ranch now, actually at the house. We've just got off the tractor and we're going inside now for our little tour. So this is where you come in now. So this is actually inside the house. Down here is the seating area where you sit. It's two gentlemen from Larmar Production Company came here and asked Joe if they might be able to film for an unknown show at the time called Dallas. And mm -hmm. Joe said no. And this time when they came back, Joe was a lot happier to see them because they bought their checkbook. Ah. <laughs> you know? In 1980, the show uh, became very popular very quickly. And JR was shot on the show. And everyone wanted to know who, who shot, shot JR. JR. That was the big who deal. Shot JR. <laughs> Fans started coming here from all over the world because they believed that JR lived here. <laughs> So they decided it was best for their family to sell their beloved home and ranch in 1984, and that's what they did. They left. After the second owner lost it, the house sat vacant for two years, and then Rex Mon came, our current Jeez. owner, and I Back there. You, all the interiors mm. were actually filled on a 40,000 square foot set in Culver City, California. Okay. So what you see today, you won't recognize. Yeah. Now, the new Dallas. Uh, was also filmed here. The exteriors, uh, they would only film during the hot summer months of June, July, and August. Oh, this is nice. Isn't this nice? This is really nice. And that's not the original portrait, but uh, they used this for a couple of reunion shows. So this uh, eagle belonged to Larry? Yes, yeah. it did. Rex Mon, mm. who owns South Fork, he loves to travel around say that he owns JR's house because after all, it's the second most famous wine house in the whole world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's my picture when I first started. So this is your picture? I was very picture. young and thin. Okay? <laughs> so this is moi and uh, there's the man himself. That is amazing. JR. So, room 22, that's where it went down, where JR bit the dust. You're gonna see the fake blood, the chalk outline. It was the second season of the New Dallas. It was titled, JR's Masterpiece. In his last episode, they filmed it, so, cause he died in real life, rest in peace, when he came here yeah, exactly. in, in the filming, that made the inside of the house look like a hotel from New Mexico. So, so he snuck down, yeah. See, so he just sneaks down, see, right? See. CD, CD like, motel, motel. Uh, uh, some place where you or I would never want to spend Somewhere you don't, imagine you don't want to be here, you just see this door, and you're like, right. knock, knock, and it's open, ta-da, and lying there, is JR. So this is the last, well, his final resting place in JR's masterpiece, and this is all original as well, which is amazing. Love it all. But down there, the chalk outline of where he um, died. <laughs> Some original lights from the set. <laughs> yes, and prior to mm. being ugly like this, it was Miss Ellie's rose garden bedroom. It was very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> room 22, that's where he bit the dust. There you room go. 22, don't forget it. Carry yeah. on, carry yeah. on. Okay, we're going Loving upstairs it. to JR's master suite. Now, when the original owners lived here, this was their master suite. Wallpaper on the ceiling. Uh, all the lamps are Waterford crystal. And how do you like this platform? And this bed. This is big. Right. Big. Big. Grand. And it's the big Joe, bed. Show Joe you that after. That. So this is okay. just made for over the top. Yes. Awesome. Now wait till you see the bathroom. Just Jacuzzi because. Jacuzzi tub. Not? 
Oh and wow. And here's okay. the first shower. Okay, this wow. Alright. Wow. That's a bathroom. <laughs> That's it's a sweet little place, isn't it? <laughs> We only close Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day. That's it, so every other day. Oh honey, Mother's Day, New Year's Day, Easter, <laughs> you know, we're here honey, we're here, okay? And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the outside of the ranch and everybody okay. loves this. This bed. Okay. This balcony is pretty special because yeah. this is where Kristen Shepard she landed in the pool. Oh, really? She well, and sister, oh. she's the one who shot Jr. the first time yes. on the show. The driveway to the hedges, mm -hmm. that lawn area, that's actually where they did all the filming for Miss Ellie's annual Ewing barbecue. And this is our casket door. The because, door? Yes, because <laughs> the in casket the south, door. they used to bring the bodies back home to Lion State. We no longer do that. Thank God we don't have that custom anymore. It used to freak me out as a child. But <laughs> so now, hope you enjoyed your, your loved it. Thank you tour. very much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. As we say in Texas, happy trails and safe travels. Oh, <laughs> I okay. love that. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Seriously, thank you. Okay, thank sure. you so much. Okay. <laughs> They've just spent so much money redoing the house as a tribute to how it used to look inside. If this, for example, the wallpaper in there alone, there is thirty thousand dollars worth of wallpaper in that house on the walls so yeah <laughs> so follow me through to the pool which is really cool by the pool yeah that wasn't cool but still uh, this is the original pool and they actually made it look like it was olympic size by using mirrors special effects and mirrors you have to come here okay you have to there's no excuses i don't care if you have a day here you quit your business trip and you come to the south fork ranch and you meet miss sally and you have a tour with her you <laughs> and you tell her Danny sent you. So what you see here are the uh, the fake graves of when they, the actual characters died on the TV shows. Just a really lovely day, the people here are so lovely. Everyone is happy to talk about anything, talk about the show. And Sally was fantastic as well as our tour guide, so a massive thank you to her. The next thing to see is JR's dad's car, who's Jock Ewing. Now this is the car that he drove around in, you see? A little number plate, Ewing, one, South Fork. So yeah, there's the beast, the Lincoln Continental. So we're all finished now. We've had a fantastic tour, really loved it. And in all honesty, I'm just a massive thank you to South Fork itself, the people who run it and letting us film here. The whole people, when they come here, they all have time for you. Any questions, I'll happily talk to you. And they're just all lovely and friendly and I can't give them a big enough thumbs up and a massive thank you. So to everyone else, thank you and goodbye.